my hand to the bone. I care for you, baby, till the cows come home. I'm too for you, baby, for the love that I seek. I'm a slave for you, baby, every day of the week. He is masked up. We cannot be masked up because, well, we're we're gonna play horns and, and do stuff like that. So uh, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us tonight. Every Tuesday we have gotten together with you guys, and it makes me feel it just makes me feel connected. It makes me feel normal that you guys come and you spend your evening with us, even that. Huge flying insect. Oh my god, yeah, I think that was big. That hey, was like a, a small bird. Hey Mindy. <laughs> you gotta unplug the mic and plug it back in. We don't have the snowball. He just he just oh, went out. Snowball. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. There it is. It's on now. Do you have the mic now? No, no microphone. Just oh. went out. Hold on one second. Yeah, everybody can hear me. I know that. So we're we're working on it, guys. Give us one quick second, please. Hey, it's on now. Yeah. Can you hear us now? 
Give me one you know, second. Sometimes it's not perfect. Snow Snowball's back. Back. You're Snowball's right. back. All right. Snowball's back. Let's start over. Like start again, now, please. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to my backyard. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I'm drinking. Cheers, cheers. Don't drink Rick's alone. Rick's drinking. So socially. Cheers. I know. Socially distanced. Okay. No, safety. Safety uh, first. Cheers to you guys. I'm drinking. Hmm. Love what you're saying. I can hear you now. I'm Mindy A. Bear. That is Rick Braun. Thank you. Rick Braun. Yes. Thunderous applause. Yes. No. Yes. We hear you. We feel you. We feel you. That is Tony Polizzi on guitar. Yes, thank you for having me, you guys. Woo! Okay, I just have to say, now that we have our microphone back, uh, I just want to thank you for coming week after week. We have done, I believe this is our 19th wine and music session wow. in our backyard. Great. Sometimes we did it in our living room, mm -hmm. but uh, it was just me for a very long time. And, you know, there's only so much solo saxophone and or me at the piano you can take. So now that things have loosened just a bit, we are staying socially distanced. Tony has a mask on, but we get to play together. And that makes us so happy, but it makes us extra happy that you guys join us every week. So thank you. This week is a special week. Rick came over and we're just hanging in the backyard. Yeah. Uh, I've got our Chardonnay, our treble clef Chardonnay. So I know you guys have wine because we have trained you to drink with us. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what wine you're drinking. Tell us where you're coming in from. Uh, Tony is from Sandusky, Ohio. So he traveled the farthest. No, he lives here, but he's from Ohio. Uh, and well, Rick, Allentown, Pennsylvania. But Woodland Hills, right around the oh, corner. Woodland Hills. And by the way, it, it's 111 degrees today in Woodland Hills. Yeah. 111. 111. Oh, come on. That's not, that's not normal. That's not normal. No. Now, we need to be doing this at your house, actually, because you've got the pool. Yeah, but not <laughs> in 111 degrees. This is the perfect spot. It's really nice here. Thank okay, he's it saying it's really nice here. It's 94 degrees <laughs> here in Hollywood. I need a sweater. <laughs> oh my God. It's a wet t shirt contest for Rick Ron. I think he's going to win it. <laughs> this is my second t shirt already. Hands down. Well, I was here for the first one, and I, I, I mean, there's a prize somewhere. So. <laughs> Very white. I'm sticking around for all of that. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm drinking our Trouble Clef Chardonnay. Let us know what you're drinking. Drink up. Um, have some fun. We are going to have a wine intermission that you don't want to miss. You definitely want to stick around for the wine intermission because my husband, Eric, has a bottle of champagne. And he, well, I'm just going to say, he's going to do something very, very dangerous with the bottle of champagne. He's not going to do that thing, is he, with the, the knife? He's not going to do that, is he? He's got a huge knife. Oh, my God. My husband has a huge I'm knife. I'm not even going to go there. It's, I'm oh, not going crap. there. Just let me say. I'm not going there. It's a really big knife. <laughs> and come the middle of the show, that knife is going to come out. What? <laughs> and there's going to be champagne involved. So, ladies, stick around. Someone said, look out, house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my All God. right. But in the meantime, we're going to play you some music and we're going to play some of my songs, some of Rick's songs and some songs we just came up with that, that we think are cool, that we hope you think are cool. So uh, you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? I All think right. So. The Masked Man is ready. We're going to do my very first song that I ever released. My very first record that was written for a lady I love a lot. She owns a Mexican restaurant down the street. Lucy's El Adobe. This is for Lucy Casado. <laughs> Bye. 
I'm still, I'm trying to figure out, I think there was enough wine. It's a perfect balance of this beautiful wine. Right. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know. It's a miracle, really. It's a miracle. It's divine intervention. You know, if you guys, you know, stay tuned maybe to Rick's channel, 
uh, and Facebook that maybe he'll come out with lessons on how to shake and play the trumpet and drink wine at the same time. It, it, this could be a whole new <laughs> career for me. Uh, Venice Beach on a Sunday <laughs> afternoon, just go down there. There's a guy who skates, plays Jimi Hendrix and all that stuff. Right. I could yeah. team up with him and we could have a career. You know what? I mean, that's seeming pretty normal right now. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> All right. That's not seeming too far off. But for right now, we're in my backyard. We're having fun. Uh, who's coming in? Where's pe Where are people coming in from? What's going on? All over the world. You have yeah? Brazil and uh, Brazil. Italy. What? And Honduras. We have people from Chile. Oh right on. People from Australia came in. Australia. Yeah. Okay. Wow. See, this is great. We can all be safe. We can we can be in our homes. We can be with the ones we love. And uh, that's amazing. That's so thank you for coming in from all around the world. My neighbors have been texting me because we were we were playing earlier and they were listening. And that was just cool to have them saying, hey, we're listening. And uh, we have my neighbors, George and Colleen here today, socially distanced. And that's the that's the clapping you're hearing. So, you know, we we're being safe, but uh, it's it's fun to have some you know, some real life uh, clapping in the audience. It's great. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. It feels, it's, you know, and funny because we have so much humidity going on here right now. I My hair is saying yes to that. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's good. You look great. You look Thanks, great. Ray. It's like sitting on your front, it's like a front porch on the East Coast, right, Tony? Yes. We're East Coast people. You sit on the front porch. How you doing? You know, the Schmidt's across the street, you know, and this is what this feels like. We're in the neighborhood and just hanging out, playing a little music. Well, you reminded me. You walked in, and the first thing you said was, this is where you got married. You had a pop-up, you know, surprise wedding, and that was the last time you were over here. You guys know Mindy Mindy and Eric had a, there's a only surprise wedding I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> they had a, was it, was it, was it a, so what was the actual party? The actual party was my birthday party. Your birthday yeah. party. So everyone comes over every year for the birthday party. That's like the bash. You know, yeah. except for this year. Yeah. But they didn't know. No. And your master of ceremony, your 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 marrying person, your your master of ceremonies was Dave Cause from the Gay Jewish Mafia. Yes, it was the Beverly Hills Gay Jewish, Jewish Mafia, mafia um, saxophonist Gay Jewish Mafia. Yeah. Yes. And we him, were married by the powers invested in him. And and then you just shared this with me before because people might not know this. Uh, you went to you said, well, maybe we should really get married. You well, yeah, we didn't know if the power is vested in him by the yeah. saxophonist gay, gay Jewish, Jewish mafia, mafia. Uh, in Beverly Hills would really marry us. It wouldn't stick. Right. So we were living in Napa at the time. And so I went to the, was it the county clerk or who it was? It was, yeah, the person, you know. Yeah. So I said, I, I think we need to really get a judge and, and get married. Uh, and he goes, no, no. He looked at the paperwork. He looked at Dave's signature. He looked at who he was you know, affiliated with his credentials. The gay Jewish Beverly Hills Mafia. And it was, it was good. It was Luminati. good. The <laughs> Luminati, that's what it was. <laughs> so, you know, if you ever need to get married, you feel like doing it as a surprise to your guests because you just don't want to go through all the pomp and circumstance of, you know, the, the real thing. I get to be on stage. I used to be on stage every night. So I, I just wanted to party with my friends and family. So that was a perfect way. And Dave Cause, he is accredited. That guy is for real. <laughs> it was so nice. <laughs> All right. So uh, we got more music. Do we? This, I'm going to let you introduce this song because you came up with it. And I, I just thought, I can't stop singing it. It's awesome. Yeah. I think we need to have a little, you want to lay down the, the situation at the beginning and I'll talk over the music oh, a little bit. Yeah, I'm make a show of it. Down, lay down a little groove to get, get us in the mood here. So we went up to pick up Emma up in Sacramento last week. She was at her school and uh, we were driving home and I put on Sam Cooke. And song after song after song, just hit after hit, and his style of singing, just so beautiful and welcoming. And so I thought, why don't we try this song? I'm no Sam Cooke, but I'm going to do the best I can. You want to do it with me, Mindy? I will do it with you. Herb Alpert co-wrote this song, by the way, with Lou Adler. That is, that's and amazing. Lewis and yeah. Sam Cooke. And Herb Sam Alpert. Cook. Wow. I mean, I didn't know that. Come on. Don't know much about history. 
history Don't know much biology Don't know much about science books Don't know much about the French I took But I do know that I love you And I know that if you love me too What a wonderful world this would be don't know much about geometry Don't know much trigonometry Don't know much about algebra Don't know what a side ruler is for But I know one and one is two And I know that if you love me too what a wonderful world this would be. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't claim to be an A student, baby. Okay. But I'm trying to be. I'll take that. Maybe by being an A student, baby. You spend your life with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know much about history. Much biology, don't know much about science books, don't know much about the French I took, but I do know that I love you, and I know that if you love me too, what a wonderful world this would be. songs that we think are cool we didn't even talk about that song until you came over today yeah. and you, you just started singing it and I, I you know it's amazing what listening to Sam Cooke in your car will do oh it's, it was just miraculous I mean you know that drive from Sacramento to LA is pretty thankless I mean you go through cows and not even happy cows it's sad cows no you and I have driven that because we used to drive back the last Fresno. night after Fresno <laughs> so Rick and I were, you know, the ones that lived in Los Angeles. Well, Peter did too. Yeah. I don't know. Rick and I were like, we're coming home. After we'd play Fresno every year on the Christmas tour, Rick and I were like, 
okay, let's go. And I just remember one year in particular, the entire drive, which I'm telling you is this is like five hour drive. It's not easy. We sang Christmas carols. Yeah. yeah. And you know that we played the show at the Tower Theater in yep. Fresno. Yep. And it was always the last show of the tour for some reason. Yes. And then we just head home. We'd head home and uh, we'd start driving at about 1130 at night. Oh, yeah. We didn't get home until five or something in the morning. That's when you really realize the value of Christmas carols. <laughs> I was sitting there with my bag of potato chips. Yes. And I got my bag of potato chips and I'm in the car and it was just like, Frosty the snowman. Da, 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 da. That was just in time too. I was veering off to the right, about to hit a cow, right when you started with that frosty stuff. That was perfect. But I mean, I look back on that and those are just great times. And I know a bunch of you guys have been with us for those Christmas tours. We did. I think, well, we did the first year, me and Peter, right. and then you came for the second year, yes. and I think we did 12 more years. Yeah. So uh, yeah. hopefully we have many more years of those to come. Here's to that. Um, here's, yeah. to that. here's to many here's more to years. Cheers. Mm. To you, brother. We can drink to that. Many more years. Um, okay, so I get to request songs because it's my show. Cool. And, uh, and, you know, I get to request songs. This is my favorite Rick Braun song. And uh, I know we talked about this and never, ever, ever uh, have I seen you do this song acoustic. And obviously we have no sound system. There are no speakers. There's no microphones. This is just us and our little blue microphone, right? And so the MVP, Tony Polizzi. Oh, I am thankful to be here. Thank you guys. You guys sound great. Keep it going. He is the world and the children. He is the band today. So, you know, holding it down here. So this song I just thought was so sexy when it came out. Woo! I was lucky enough to play it live uh, a lot of times, but yes. you and Boney James made this yeah. a huge hit. Yes. And uh, when did this come out? This Now you're asking the tough questions. Uh, 1948. Right. 1948. It's right after the war yeah. and things were getting better. Getting yeah. better. Play the song. Okay. <laughs> this is... Notorious. <laughs> I'm drinking. That's you, but yeah, me too. <laughs> Tony, I guess it's on you, right? All right? It's always on you. It's always on you. You're him. the band. Thank you. 
Tony is really, really good. Tony's good. Really good. Oh, he's up! He's up! That's really good. Ready, Tony? porch in Savannah, Georgia right there. That was not a front porch. Hollywood, California. <laughs> Of that you did a great version of that. I, no, I've never no. done it before. Well, but then you need to. Now I now I'm like I, I'm it's I'm like, into it. Hearing you sing it, it's like you gotta do that. Way in the water. Way in the water. I mean, I grew up in Florida, but uh, as I'm told by my Italian husband, that is not the South. No. But there's a lot of fried food there. <laughs> There's gators walking around, and I beg to differ that it is not the South. Uh, but having said the South, we do like to travel. And uh, I got to say, uh, we started a wine and music company about a year ago. And one of our dreams was to just kind of travel the world and drink wine. Uh, Rick has the coolest cruise on the planet, Whoa. you go everywhere, yes, and I, I got to go on one of your cruises. You have to. We we will talk. Yeah, you know, we will talk. We That's, talk. That is a promise. And uh, yeah, we still have cabins left for 2021. Believe it or not, we still have yeah. Jeffrey Osborne, Dave Cause, Vincent and Gala. Okay, um, when is it going out in 2021? August. It's okay. August, mid August. So we are we are pretty confident we're going to be good to go. And, I think that feels safe. It yeah. feels safe. It so. Feels good. Okay, Feels you up. need to go on Rick's cruise, yeah. and you need to come with us. We are not going on a cruise, but we have got our own adventures. Wine. I know, we got wine. We want to come drink wine. And we're going to go first in June, uh, and we're hoping things are a little safer, obviously, in June. There's going to be something that's safer. Uh, so we are going to go to Eric's hometown. I say hometown because he lived there over 15 years. But Healdsburg, California, which yeah. most of you know more as Sonoma, so there's Sonoma and Napa. Sonoma is the homier 
amazing city, you know, that is just, and region that is just incredible. And when Eric and I started dating, it was like, oh my God, I got to go up to this storybook little town and go to these great restaurants and walk around and just be a part of the wine industry and wine lifestyle. It was incredible. So he's pulling all these favors from his winery friends and our winery friends now uh, to do this in June. And then in November, so you can go to your cruise in August. August. And yep. then you're just gonna spend the year partying, okay? And then in November, you're coming with us to Tuscany. Yes. So fly over there by that time, it's gonna be okay, and hopefully. <laughs> and um, we're gonna drink wine. We're gonna stay in Siena. It's this five-star resort in Siena. And we are gonna drink wine. I'm gonna play for you every night. It's going to be right. I, I see maybe some stuff, you know, I promise the music's going to be good, oh, <laughs> but great wine, great food, cheese, what cheese um, and uh, and great music. So join us on our adventures and all that to to get to our wine intermission. Uh, so I alluded to earlier, my husband, Eric sword has a big sword. <laughs> And uh, Whoa. I know you guys want to see it, right? <laughs> Who wants ah. to see the big sword? Huh? <laughs> Every week we have a wine intermission. And uh, this is brought to you by our company, ReserveTastings.com. We hope you become a member. It's, it's cool. We send you wine four times a year. We just finished our wine for this fall. And it's so cool. It's so good. The artwork is so cool. Um, even our daughter, Jordan... Um, she's 20 now. She did one of our labels for the fall, and it's just, it's incredible. Her first wine label, she can't even drink yet, but soon. Uh, whoa. do that sexy entrance again that was really cool <laughs> oh that was cool he just he just, just appears with a bottle of champagne <laughs> oh right out here <laughs> Wait, I'm just getting corn out of the audio, so. <laughs> audience, audience, you might want to stand back. Yes. Do you, do you see that knife? One day. So Whoa. Were you here a couple weeks ago when the champagne went all over me? Okay, I'm <laughs> using my horn as all a right. baffle. So I don't, I don't really want anybody to do this at home. This is actually pretty dangerous to do. That's why everybody over there is backing away, and everybody over here is running away. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Not to scare Rick at all, but this is as much pressure in this bottle as a tire on your car. So wow. if it doesn't break the right way, especially if it goes in that direction, it could be oh, a disaster. Oh, right. Right. Oh, no. wow. You take an I eye mean, out. It could be one of the worst things you've ever seen on live. Yeah, that's TV. more like. Okay, I'm in the line of fire. <laughs> Bring it off. I say, let's give this a shot. Bring so, it off. You got a special saber here that's for, uh, I got this actually from Champagne Mum in Rheims. Champagne, France, and we're going to try to break this bottle perfectly. I Ready? I don't trust. Wait, can I? Can we do the countdown together? Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, everyone, with me. One, two, three. Oh! Oh! Yay! Three! You were not in the now. splash zone. Everything was fine. That's what I'm talking about. And there's no glass in the in the champagne. We'll find out soon enough. No, 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 no never. So much pressure in the bottle. That Tony, you Pushes all the glass away. So everything is perfect. Woo! Tony, my friend. Cheers. Can we do that every week for wine yeah. intermission? All right. One for air. Uh huh. And then a little bit for the neighbors after I get off camera here. So. Woo! All right. So
so here's to knocking the audio out and having a rough show, but an amazing musical show. Cheers. I love that. Cheers. 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 Don't you cheers. 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 cheers to the neighbors. To the neighbors. Cheers to everybody and to Mom and Papa. I love this place. I'm going to leave. She's dancing. You've done enough. I'm She's going. dancing. She's dancing. She's dancing. He just dancing. comes in with a spin knife, savors a bottle of champagne, and leaves. That's a perfect man. <laughs> wow, that's, that's quite tasty. It's quite delicious on okay, a scorching summer afternoon. Gotta drink that at 94 degrees out. Cheers. Cheers. Well, we got 100 degrees, so people really like <laughs> Ooh. You were scared, Ooh. weren't you? You thought that was going to go south. Well, no, no. I just wasn't sure if anybody could hear it. <laughs> no, not you. You know, everyone oh, watching, yeah, you yeah. guys thought it was going to go south. I knew it wasn't. I, I know you. I've seen him savor a bunch of bottles of champagne. Um, every every uh, year in Punta Gorda, we've had our wine and music festival, and he savors a bottle to, you know, start off the festival, and it's money. It's totally awesome. So I trust you explicitly with, you know, with the bottle of champagne. But a couple weeks ago, you did me wrong. What? <laughs> Do tell. There's a couple of disappointed people that it wasn't sprayed on you. Right? <laughs> Everybody was happy that I didn't hurt Rick or Tony and everything was fine. <laughs> That's what the comments are. I have a little bottle of valve oil that I did. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know a couple weeks ago uh, we, we got a, a donation from Roy saying that, uh, you know, uh, buy champagne-proof clothing. <laughs> so thank you for that, Roy. By the way, we got a donation from Emma Braun tonight. Oh! oh, God. oh, oh thank you, me. Emma. Thank you, Emma. Okay, so uh, thank you, Emma, but that reminds me, I always forget to talk about this. If you love what you're hearing, uh, you know, support at uh you know give money and support us at um paypal.me slash mindy it's paypal.me slash mindy a bear or just mindy mindy a bear but that that goes to us so that goes to all of us so uh thank you for supporting us that is uh you know kind of the ticket price that we don't want to charge but we just want to play for you and we want to be with you right and my, my portion goes to tj max via my wife <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Christiana uses your portion for TJ Maxx. Fact, if you just want to make a donation to TJ Maxx in her name, it'll be just as... Uh, Christiana's watching right now. Oh! Hi, honey. Going <laughs> Hi, hey, honey. Christiana, you want to go shopping at TJ Maxx? <laughs> I mean, I'm all for that. I think, I think the last time I went shopping was like a year ago, so... Oh, no shoes. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> thing. No, I think it's. Gosh, it's so fine. We need Mindy donations for Mindy's clothing for trying to see the holes in her pants. <laughs> no shoes. For God's sake, she's on her front porch. It doesn't get any more difficult than this. <laughs> I know it's rough, isn't it? Yeah. No drinking champagne. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> ah, thank you, Roy. Thank you to everyone who who has just been so so kind and and so cool in this place where we're not playing and, and uh, you know what, it's, it, it's just really cool to have you guys in our lives. Rick and I were talking yeah. earlier and uh, just saying, you know, what an amazing thing it is that we haven't been with you in months, but we feel so connected and, and we feel like you're there. And that's, that's amazing. Not every musician or artist has that. No. So oh, very blessed. Very so last thing about Christiana, she said, just be happy it's not Neiman Martins. That's true. She has a very good point. Very good point. But let me say, at Did least... You know, hold it, hold on quickly. There was a horrible accident at Neiman Marcus. The other, $150,000 of damage. It was crazy. A handbag, a handbag burned up. Oh. <laughs> You're awful. Oh, my God. No, I was going to say, I just saw they filed for bankruptcy, so maybe there's a sale in our future. I mean, that could be cool. Yeah. Because... I'm just, you know. Don't give her ideas, Mindy. Don't give her ideas. Christiana, you and I are going to talk. All right. All right. Uh, let's keep going with music. Yep. Keep going. Uh, there's a song that, again, we hadn't talked. We hadn't talked about, but it came up, and, and uh, we were just kind of playing through stuff, and this song came up, and I love this song, and I don't know during these times. It's especially meaningful to have 
loved ones around you, whether it's your friends who have become your family, like you and me, whether it's, you know, my husband or my neighbors who I've, you know, I've lived next door to George for 25 years, probably. That's crazy. These are, these are, you know, our, our, our family, our friends. So, um, it's amazing to be there for the people we love and, uh, you know, that's what life is all about. And I've learned that more during 2020 than in any other point in my life. So, uh, here's to you guys. And this song is, uh, is for you. When the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light you see. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. So, darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Oh, stand. Stand by, stand by me, stand by, stand by me. Whoa. 
a lot. I know you've got your own show. I was lucky enough to, was I the third week of your show? I think you were the third week when we were able to have people back on. Yeah. And it was an yeah. awesome show. And I'm so glad so you, you did that. Oh, by the way, people have been asking because I didn't announce it this week. Yes. I will be doing a show this Saturday night at 630 Pacific Daylight Time. And uh, you're going to have to put up with this, but it's just going to be me. It's my show, and Tony Polizzi is going to be playing guitar on the show. Yeah. I like you, and I like, I like Tony. You. Play some songs we haven't played for a long time, so tune in on YouTube. Rick's Cafe Live on YouTube. Go to YouTube, and it's slash Rick's Cafe Live. Become a member, because yeah. the, the YouTube thing is, it's, oh, well, it's kind of like Facebook, that you just have to be a member, and then you get these, uh, you know, kind of, hey, Rick's going to be live or Mindy's going to be live. So that's a cool thing. Um, yeah. So thank you for being a part of both of our Facebook yeah, pages and YouTube pages. And it, it's just, it's so fun for us to play and, uh, and just have you be a part of it. So thank you for not only supporting us and, and uh, giving, but just being there and cheering us on and being a part of our world through this. So I know we'll get to, a better place. Yes, we'll get to we a will. place where Amen. people are safer. Amen um, I yeah. can't wear a mask, but Tony is wearing the coolest mask. It's all about having the designer mask now, keeping yeah. the blues alive. Yeah. Right on, yeah. baby. Mm. I've it's been at the cool. Blues Music Awards for the last two years, and this year it couldn't happen. But, uh, but keep the blues alive, baby. <laughs> all right, so uh, music. Music. This next song, this next song is cool. Yeah. Rick and I started playing this song super early on. The, the original version of the song was on my very first record. And um, Jeff Golub played guitar on it, which uh, we all miss Jeff. I know yeah. he was one of your closest friends. Mm -hmm. uh, he was one of my closest friends. He was always my... He was always my wingman on the road. We would always go to the bar together and... Yeah. You know, I remember he showed up at a gig of mine in uh, Denver one time, and I didn't even know he was in town. Really? And he walked into the Soiled Dove where I was playing, and he got a glass of red wine at the bar and brought it to the stage and set it down. And that's the kind of guy Jeff was. Always the gentleman. Diamond Jeff Golub he used to be such. Diamond Jeff Golub on the road with Rod Stewart. I mean, we had such great times. And, uh, oh, my gosh, miss him dearly. Yeah. But he certainly left a beautiful, beautiful uh, mark on the world. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Definitely on us. Good. On us. So this song we're going to dedicate to Jeff Golub. Uh, but I've played it with you five million times. So I better get it right is what you're trying to say. Well, this time <laughs> should, we should, you should get it right this time. <laughs> No. I have a 45% <laughs> chance of that. <laughs> a 65% chance of a 100% chance of getting it. No. We have so much fun playing this song. And I very rarely have horn players. You know, it's always guitar playing with me or, or Rodney Lee on, on B3 with me. Uh, but, you know, I got Tony and I got Rick. And so this is fun. This is all about the horn parts and the, the fun. So uh, this is off my very first record. This was the second song I ever released. This is called Flirt. 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 What? That's a sexy shake. Come on, Tony.
party during that? I hope so. We did. I know, right? Come on, that's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to get your wine. It's supposed to be, I don't know where you are. Chile? We can't Brazil? see. Brazil? Yeah, that's not fair. We can't see. I know. Maybe we have to do these Zoom after a certain while, right? <laughs> uh, we have a couple shout outs to make. Uh, it. Uh, John Wright, happy birthday. Yes. John is the guy who has put on the Punta Gorda Wine and Jazz Festival, and he has put on the Mindy A. Bears Punta Gorda Wine and Music Festival for the past few years, and we were supposed to do it this year, and well, there's a pandemic, if you haven't heard, and it's not going to happen, but we are going to do it again, and uh, you know, we're just going to do it when it's safe. So, John, happy birthday to you. Woo! Wine's going everywhere, and, uh, and we just want to give a shout out because we love you so much. Uh, we lost two people who were just incredibly dear to us this uh yeah. the past two weeks uh bill mcgregor pam mcgregor my my fan club president's beloved husband of 42 years you guys were just a symbol of love and support and amazingness so to bill we love you and to willie and kathy Payne. willie passed away and we just we send kathy so much love and your whole family so much love willie was an incredible supporter of our music and just you know uh great music in general he was such a beautiful man so uh both of the, both of them were married 42 years i mean that's a lot of years that's, wow that's a so respect to you guys and we're all going through this life together we just want to stand with you guys and send you love because hopefully what happens right now with all of this is that it brings us together that it unites us that it you know Amen. it makes us stronger and that's what i that's what i hope that's what we we try to do through our music yeah. and through each other. So, you know, um, we got one last song. Yes. But I have to say, before we do our last song, you got to tune in on Saturday for Rick's Rick's Cafe Live on YouTube. It's live and it's always great. I love that it's only you this week. You know, I just thought about it it's every week because I because I started it with the intention of I knew we'd be out of work for a while, and people, of course, again. Yeah. If you're liking what you're seeing, please donate because uh, we've all lost all of our gigs. They're gone. So I started with the intention of bringing the band in and bringing other artists in to yeah. help spread the wealth out around a little bit. And uh, so I, I haven't done my own show, so I think it's time. But I couldn't do it without Tony Polizzi. Tony's going to be there with the band. So yeah, I'm you glad know, you were a great operation. Both of you guys, this is the first time I played with you. Amazing. I, I had a great time. This is awesome. Thank you. Awesome play. We'll do it again. I can't say anymore. We'll do it oh, again. Yes. I know you got it. You got two masks on, so you gotta. Yeah, you can't say much. Uh, Very actually, I uh, I remember before we do our song, our last song, uh, you know, there's some things that you guys don't know about us that we've. And that's spent, a that's a good thing. That's it's a fine. Very good, let's leave it there. Okay. It's fine. I mean, now they know my husband has a really big sword. What? And, you know, so I think that's that's totally fine. You know, some things just, just happen that people know. It's not all that sharp, though. Uh, that sharp. No, no, I guess not. Um, but, By the okay. way, I control what I what I comment on after you say things. So. <laughs> He's at the controls, but I've still got the blue microphone, and it's on. <laughs> it isn't sharp, but... <laughs> but sturdy. Sturdy. But sturdy. That's right. Sturdy, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Going. Okay, so I, I figured I figured uh It's out there now. Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever's on the internet is true. Careful what you play with. <laughs> He's like, I got the keyboard, you don't. <laughs> okay, so I figured there's things that I know about Rick. Uh, and that, that he knows about me that you guys don't know. So I get to be uh, an interviewer of sorts. But I think I think it's really cool that you two are, we have a similar background. We do. That we didn't just come up the ranks as solo artists. No. We always wanted to be solo artists. Yes. But we ended up playing for other people along the way. In stadiums. In stadiums. <laughs> I mean, we played for everyone in all kinds of crazy places. But I knew... I knew you from playing with Sade's band and playing uh, 
I, I mean, just, oh my God, a million people. Please tell everyone your, <clears throat> your uh, just a little bit of your history. Well, it's good it's just a little bit because my memory at 65 years old is faded considerably. Rod Stewart, come on. I, I know you've got road stories. I so. do remember Rod Stewart stories. You I do? do? I have Rod Stewart. I played with, okay, Rod was amazing to play concerts with. We had some of the best times. I mean, we really, every young man should, and for that matter, every young woman should have an opportunity to play in a rock and roll band and experience that life. I mean, I to go out and get the big stadium exits with the limos and all of that. It was like, I went from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And, and then I moved out here starving in a one bedroom apartment, playing bar bands as we both did. We did. And yeah. all of a sudden I'm on stage at Wembley stadium with Rod Stewart. And you talk about a shock. Um, and I was fortunate enough to, to work with other people like Glenn Fry. I toured with the late, great Glenn Fry. Oh, he was so great. Uh, and he was an awesome guy to tour with, with Sade. Uh, worked with Tina Turner. Tina uh, Turner is one of my all-time heroes. I'll uh, tell a Tina Turner story. Then. Really? Yeah, I'll tell okay, a Tina Turner story. Um, I, was, I was on the road with Sade. And we were in uh, Jones Beach in oh, yeah. Long Island. Great place a, a to play. Beautiful shed right on the water. It's one of the best places to play. So we're playing yeah. there. And her manager, Roger Davies, and by the way, this this was a, like a, a dream gig because Steffi Graf came backstage that. The tennis player? Yes, came Ooh. backstage. And of Huge course, I, tennis turned, fan. I turned into Ralph Cramden. And I was like, humming, humming, humming. <laughs> and I managed to get out. I'm such a huge fan of yours. you know. To like, Steffi Graf? Yeah, because she was backstage to see our show. Well, not me, but Sade. She didn't really know anything about me or care about me at all but that's okay i was willing to accept that still went up to her and i said she was playing the u.s open and yeah. so she came she came to show, and she said to me i said to her oh my god i'm such a big fan and she said unbelievably she said would you like to be my guest at the u.s open and one of the proudest moments of my life was to walk up to the will call window and say <clears throat> Excuse me, but I'm a guest of Steffi Graf. Are you kidding me? I got to say that. Of course, she wasn't playing. It was like some meaningless match. But you know. but, but did you get like crazy, oh, amazing oh seats? And... No, they were just okay. But it didn't matter. It, was, <laughs> it didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter. <laughs> was there a late night tryst with Stephanie? No, with no, Steffi no, no. I went though in my dreams. Yes, absolutely in my dreams. I mean, I've got to ask these questions, she, or I wouldn't be doing you right, right? She had the most amazing Steffi Graf, and you can argue with me, but she, in my mind, she still has the most amazing legs in women's tennis, and that's to me. You know what? In women's tennis, I might give you that, but Tina Turner. Oh. Okay. She's got the most amazing legs yes. in, yes. these are the things we talk about on the tour bus. Yeah. And I, you know, it, it is what it is. It but, is what uh, it is. So, yeah. so there I was, I digress. I was playing that show and Roger Davies, who also represented uh, uh, Michael Jackson's sister. Who I'm, oh, Janet Jackson? Janet Jackson, of course. See, that's, oh. see, case in point, that's my mind. So there I am. And he says, uh, Tina Turner mm -hmm. is in the studio and I'd like you to play on her record. She wanted to have her Albert play on it. But I told her she needed to have you crazy him. No, not crazy, crazy him. him. Come on. So so I say, of course, I mean, Tina Turner. So I'm like, in heaven. Oh, yeah. It's heaven. Yes. So I get on a plane, fly back overnight, red eye, fly back out there, get there. Next next day, they take me in a, a sends a car, sends me to A&M Studios. And I go right from the flight, right to the studio. And there's Tina Turner in the studio. And by the way, A and M Studios is two blocks that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was an amazing place, an amazing place. And Herb Alpert owned half of it. So yeah, it was amazing. So I went into the studio, and she was very particular about what she wanted me to play. And you've been there before, and I'm just the guy. And she's she's in the, in the pushing the talk back button from the studio, going, "No, can you play this?" And then she'd sing in her voice, and I'm melting because it's oh, her voice. It's and then I said, I, "She's like," and, and I I said, "Tina, why don't you?" You know what you want to hear. Why don't you put headphones on and come out here and stand next to me and sing. I'll take an ear off and sing it into my ear and I'll sing it while I'll play it the best I can what you're singing. And it worked. Ah, she yeah. did it. It worked. She ah, did it. She did. she did it. And it's like she came next to me and she was singing right into my ear. Oh, come on. There was no pandemic then, so she could be like right Why on my you? ear. It was so awesome. Oh. And it's a song called Why Must We Wait Until Tonight, 
and it's uh, it's from uh, it's from her her big debut record where she came out after uh, after she broke up with Ike. What's love got to do with That's it? That's exactly That's right. It's on that record. I was yeah. such a huge fan. Oh my god. Okay, I'm looking up that song. I I've known him for a million years. I don't know that story. See, that's that was that was one of my most. I the whole plane flight flight back. I was just glowing. It was. You're like, done it, <laughs> done it. So you, you have some really good stories. I think this is a Billy Idol story that you've told many <laughs> times. If you're up for it, I don't want to put you on the spot, but it's a great story. You know what? I can't beat your I can't beat your no, Tina Turner story. No, I think that's a good story. I can't. I mean, you come can. on, road stories are, are great. Come on. I know. I know. Okay, I'm looking at that song. Um, yes, we we came up the ranks the same way. We yeah. played a lot of we played a lot of bars and a lot of clubs, but I, I think that. The fact that maybe we didn't come up as just the people wanting to be, play traditional jazz, you know, sitting in a bar in the in the background, um, that kind of propelled us to different realities. So it definitely propelled me to different realities. And I went on the road with Backstreet Boys for their Millennium Tour, which was crazy. I got to see the world and be a rock star and get paid for it and play for 60 or 80,000 people a night. That was nuts. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I know. And you know, so Mindy, I got a picture of you and Billy Idol up on the screen <laughs> right now. They're, We're calling you out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get to Billy Idol. You need so, another, you no, might, she might need another glass of wine to tell this story. Sandler, it's uh, <laughs> Wadi and Billy. Okay, yeah. Right. Wow, I didn't know pictures existed, yeah, but yeah, yeah. okay, so I toured with I Adam, but I toured with Adam Sandler in uh, 1995 and we did a tour it was all music and the musicians in adam's band he put together an amazing band so he i i got to play saxophone and sing and it was just such an amazing tour i, I might not have ever had as much fun as i had on this tour so ever since then adam has called me to be a part of his movies and and be in the background or be in the band or something and the one movie I couldn't do was Wedding Singer. Oh. I know, right? I did just go with it. You could see me, you know, for a hot second in a, a tacky purple outfit playing saxophone. And, you know, I'm in uh, one of the latest ones. I forget the name. I'm in a bunch of Adam Sandler movies. You just have to look. Uh, always with a saxophone being me. But the one, The Wedding Singer, I couldn't be in. I was in Japan touring with Bobby Lyle. And so he, in, he invited me to the rap party. And the rap parties when, you know, they put out the the movie and it's the celebration. Yep. So little did I know all these cool people were in the movie. And I show up and Billy Idol was in the movie. And I just thought, oh, my God, I'm such a cool Billy Idol fan. So the rap party was Adam and his band, which was me. I've been in his band now for 25 years. We've done everything for him. And... Billy Idol comes to sit in. We played all night, but Billy Idol came in for a couple songs. So I'm up in front, I'm singing. I got my sax, I'm singing. Billy Idol's playing back there and I feel something. <laughs> and I'm singing, you know, just da, doing da, my thing. Da. And we're, we're playing and I feel something on my butt. <laughs> and so I look back Billy Idol is literally playing guitar and has his teeth just <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. And it was not a pandemic then. There was not a <laughs> pandemic and there were no masks. This was this was sheer rock and roll and I'm looking back and look I you know yeah. if it was anyone else oh I would have just you know <laughs> But I look, Adam Sandler is right next to me, and I look at Adam, and Adam looks at me, he was like, <laughs> and we're both kind of starstruck, but horrified. <laughs> but it's Billy Idol. It's almost like telling a dog not to eat his food. <laughs> That's what a dog does. So Billy Idol has his teeth sunk into my butt, and... So I just kind of let it happen. <laughs> and and I, I looked back and went, oh, my God. I just kept looking at Adam and singing. And so the gig, oh. the gig ended. It was, you know, the rap party. And so I never saw Billy Idol. 
apart from being on stage. I never met him. I never was introduced to him. I mean, the man had his teeth. On your butt. On my yeah, butt. Yeah. For quite, I mean, it, it was lengthy. And nothing. So I found Adam Sandler and just said, do I get to meet him at least? <laughs> <laughs> this is not my usual. I don't have men doing this all the time. It, I felt kind of special for a moment. And he's like, yeah, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> so I, I didn't get the chance to meet him until like five, five or 10 years ago when we did Adam's holiday party. And uh, yeah, there's no way he remembers sinking his teeth into my nether regions. Um, that was just a rock and roll haze. But I remember it still. And uh, yeah, that's a, it's a beautiful part of my memory, <laughs> rock and roll. But Thank you, know, you, Rick, for bringing that up. But you know what? In hindsight. Oh! 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 You're so bad. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. And there will be more road stories the next time Rick and I get together on the porch. Okay. I got more. You got more? I do. I know you do because I know them. None to rival that, though. <laughs> oh, I think you do. <laughs> All right. Um, should we play music? Should yes, we play, play them out. One, yeah, let's do one more song. <laughs> All right. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. Did you drink with us? Did you have fun? Uh, we just Cheers. we've had so much fun. So we were we're gonna play you out with a, a song that I love from Rick and again Herb Albert. Uh, Hugh Masekela. Hugh Masekela. Hugh Masekela. Oh my, oh my Hugh Masekela, Friends of Distinction. And uh, yeah, this was this was a very special song for me and Boney. And uh, it was on our Shake It Up CD. And, uh, yeah. This, yeah. I mean, every Rick Braun gig, this ends it. Yeah. it's it, And it's funny because Boney always ends his show with this too. So when we share the stage, we usually have to have a powwow and go, you going to play it? You're gonna play it. Who gets to play it this week? But do you sit in with each other and and do it? You know. And, oh yeah, and make we do. It cool? We do. We yeah. do. And that's another story for another time, which is the Hollywood Bowl story. So I'll tell you that another time. Hollywood Bowl story coming next. All right. Next time. Come on, everybody. Okay. Dance party in your house. Come on.
And that we get to hang with you guys because we miss you so so much. Yes, we do. So uh go see Rick Saturday night, 6 30, Rick's Cafe Live yep. on YouTube. And uh thank you for tuning in today. This was this was just amazing. And uh we do virtual wine and music tastings usually every other Saturday. So just belong to uh my Facebook page or our Facebook page for our wine company at Reserve Tastings. And we hope you become a member because we got some amazing wine coming out this this fall. It's just so cool. So we'll keep teasing it and showing it and everything. But uh, we love you guys. And if you loved what you hear today, go to paypal.me slash Mindy A. Bear. It's going to all of us. And we just love you so much. Amen. 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 So have a great week. Cheers! Cheers! We love you! <laughs> <laughs>